You know, there's nothing like cracking that, that cellophane and pulling that record out. It just smells great. Welcome to Buzz Mayhem Hour. Non-stop hardcore energy. I love the show, guys. You're awesome. Yeah. Unlike any other. With your host, John the Bud, a.k.a. The Bodfather. Man, this stuff rocks. This is Olaf Wickstrand from the heavy metal band Enforcer from Sweden. You're listening to Bob's Mayhem Hour. The views and opinions of the guests do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Bob's Mayhem Radio Network and staff, affiliates, or sponsors. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to Bob's Mayhem Radio Network. Hey everybody, welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. I'm your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. the Bod Father. As always, I'm bringing you guys and gals awesome interviews today. It's a huge honor and privilege to have the vocalist and guitarist Olaf Wickstrand of Enforcer. Enforcer will release their second live album entitled Live by Fire 2 on March 19th via Nuclear Blast Records. Live by Fire 2 concert was recorded in Mexico City in 2019. Also check out Enforcer's new single from the live album entitled Destroyer, which is out now. So Olaf, man, how's it going and uh, what have you been up to? I'm pretty good here, over here. Uh, not been doing not been doing so much lately. It's been a calm year, obviously. What have you been up to during this pandemic that you might have not thought that you would have been doing right now, possibly? I mean, is there anything special that you've been doing that you, you know, like hobbies or anything possibly? Um, no, who would know what a situation we would end up in um, like a year ago? Uh, no, it's been, it's been a pretty good year for me, actually. Like, first of all, we, we haven't had very tough restrictions in, in Sweden, where I come from, where I live. So we had like uh, no lockdowns, no no stuff like that. So I've been living my life almost like normal, except from the fact that, that we haven't been, been playing so much music. Um However, that's been pretty like that's been pretty good because I mean, there's so much stress that's been taken out of the entire equation of being in a band. So that I've really been able to focus on maybe the creative side of the band and and create music and and it's been like really inspiring and fun to do music again. So that's that's something positive that's been coming out of it. That that the band have been so creative, created so much things. On a more personal level, I also had a pretty great year without all the stress like involved with being in a band. So, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, I'm, I've been doing a lot of sports. I'm, I've, I've always kind of been a sports guy, doing different types of sports. So I've been playing a lot of tennis, a lot of golf hmm. last summer. So it's been, um, it's been a good year. Speaking about the pandemic, how how was it over there? I know you mentioned that you guys hadn't been in a lockdown so was it as bad over there as it was over here in the u.s possibly the lockdown w- w- was not as bad as you had there uh, everything has been open we've been having bars and restaurants open we've been having all the entire society open except from from like public performances you know theaters and and music concerts and, and some other things but apart from that it's been it's been pretty okay how we've been doing in sweden i mean Obviously, we've been taking a pretty bad hit, like now, like from it, because like it seems like our numbers are pretty bad if you count on like per hundred thousand people or however you do those numbers. I, I don't really know. So it's, it's been, it, it hasn't been like great from that perspective. But still, I'm kind of thankful for 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 not being totally locked down. Mm. You know, it's been it's been good. I've, you know, I've been able to go out a lot, do do like things that I haven't had time for, like during the majority of my adulthood since I spent that, you know. Yeah, exactly. So what what about being in this lo- kind of lockdown and not being able to do anything here lately? Creatively, have you guys got a lot of stuff that's waiting to get put out possibly or, or no? Yeah, yeah I, I, I've been compiling demos, you know, I probably have like 10, 15 songs that were just like waiting to to record more or less. You guys released Zenith in 2019. 
did the pandemic cause the release of Live by Fire? No, the thing is that, um, I mean, we obviously we didn't know that a pandemic would happen while we were in Mexico and, and play the show. It was like a, it, it was a golden opportunity we couldn't miss for, for, for a lot of reasons. It was like a good show coming up. We had that. We, we knew that Mexico City has such a great crowd when when it comes to our type of music. We had the original setting with the band, which has been more a rare thing lately to have like everybody on the same place at the same time. And also, it's like um, we we were able to record a full headline show with the band, both video and audio. So, so it was more like a like a smash opportunity that we that we just had to take. Now, were you guys nervous at all releasing this album right now, or no? Or you guys just want to get this out so that way everybody can enjoy some music right now? No, I'm I'm not nervous when it comes to everything. I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. Was it hard to choose between the current set of songs? Which one would be the first single you guys wanted to release for the album? The first song we released was From Beyond, and I think that was uh, that was a pretty clear choice because uh, that's a song that, that you always get a very, very good reaction from the crowd since it's so damn simple, and, and you can get almost any crowd singing that song, you know. Mm. So it's, um, it's, it's a, just a great song to play live. What's impressed you or excited you the most about compiling this CD, DVD, live album, if anything, man. Was there anything that sticks out for you possibly versus the first one? Everything is superior on this one. And, you know, we obviously it's like the first one came out in 15, but was recorded in 13. Like it's already eight years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, I mean, we're a completely different band by now. We play so much better. We sound better. The sound is just like, like miles beyond with this the entire production we play so much more tight we we have better songs you know we we have like an arsenal of songs from from beyond and from zenith that that are, makes up more or less the entire live show um so so it's it's a lot of the i mean it, it just shows what we are right now and according to me i mean we've been we've never been so good as we are right now and i just you know want to have like relevant audio and video material so there's a tremendous oh. amount of growth from a to b now oh hell yeah man yeah <laughs> and that's good because yeah. I, I think the day that any band that stops wanting to grow you're done of course i mean yeah that, that's i mean growth is, is 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 absolutely necessary for not not only every musician but everyone who works with well anything you know mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Growth is everything. All types of, I would, uh, uh, I was just about to say culture, but it expands even further. And so, you know, any type of anything you do, any like any, any company or any movement or whatever it is, it's, it's absolutely dependent on growth because growth motivates you and growth keeps you going. Do you like to see Enforcer go outside your box, sort of say, than what you're comfortable in doing? Do you like pushing those boundaries to see what comes up? Yeah, I think we always do that. I, I would I, I, I would like to see us as a non predictable, non generic band. I mean, my mission and my goal is not to be a band who, who, who like pays tributes to the past and try to imitate things that things from the past. My 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 intention is to take in the past and then like develop the entire genre of heavy metal with what I'm doing. I have no, absolutely no intentions of imitating something or try, try to be a pastiche, cliche, generic band. Any tracks standing out more to you than any right now on this live album? I know it must change every time that you go back, you listen to it and everything that you guys have put together for it, but is there any that stand out for you possibly? I think this, uh, I, I think like looking at it now, I think it shows quite a lot of different things and i'm really happy about the entirety of this live live performance because it it it, it it's it contains everything you know highs and lows different tempos different variations is it's like a pretty dynamic record and a good like mix of, of those and a good like balance between them so i think it's a i think it's just like a good life set. Putting this set list together for this Mexico City show, 
how difficult was it possibly to pick and choose which ones was gonna be on this set list and also were there any songs that didn't make this that you wanted to have on the live album no i think how we choose songs is this this is like the live set list give or take a few songs that we've been doing for for the past two years maybe i don't know since zenith came out more or less um and then how we choose the songs is is strictly because you know uh, like a result of trial and error we try a lot of songs and and the ones that works best with the audience are usually the songs that we tend to stick with so that, that's how you create them and then in what order you place them that's that's a little bit more experimental you know with how you how you build the set how you build the dynamics how you build up to a certain crescendo or or like how you work with with the different vibes and the different tempos of the different songs like that who did the artwork for this amazing Live by Fire oh, 2? It's a photo taken on the Zenith tour. Um, it was at an earlier point of that summer. I think it was Belgium. Can't remember what the photograph was called, but I found this picture on the internet quite randomly, and I was trying to get hold of this photographer who didn't answer for like three months, and I was like desperately trying to get hold of him to ask for his permission to use this photograph as the cover. Um, but eventually he was like, after three months, he, he answered. And, uh, <laughs> and we, we, we made the details about this. And then I, and then we had like a super talented designer, graphic designer guy who took this photo and, and, and made the entire artwork of, of live by fire too, which I think turned out tremendously great. Okay. It really means exactly what, what, what we want to, to say with, uh, with his live release or entire band, actually. I thought this was pretty cool for the folks who purchase the physical formats, like the CD plus you uh, having a record. It's going to include like extensive booklets containing a tour program, liner notes, and, and it's got tons of photos compiled. What, what all did you yeah. want to add into this for the fans who, who support you guys? Oh, I wanted to include everything. I think the first uh, the first rendition of that tour book I did was I think sixty pages, but unfortunately <laughs> the, the, the the record label didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> they they didn't think it was profitable to to print such a, <laughs> such a big book, but so we had to cut it down a little bit. But it's, it's it was pretty fun because I asked like fans on on our Facebook and Instagram channels to to um to um contribute with um with their photos so there's a lot of fan photos in there and um, you know just just like and, and also photos from our private collections so it's just like to show people what it is to be in a band such as enforcer and it's awesome that you want to include the fans who put you where you are today you know, of course not. You, you know, that's never the, forget that. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the nail on the head right there. Because if not, you might as well seal your own coffin. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you hope everyone takes away, or a message you hope they hear while listening to this new live album, or or any of Enforcer's music in general? What do you hope they take away from it? Well, I don't know. I I mean, what I want to say with it, I mean, of, of in the end, music is about like mediating emotions and and there's a lot of different things i want to say with different songs but like the overall feeling is like to bring energy and aggression to whoever listens to it you know that the, the vibe should be when you listen to it you, ju you just want to go out and you know beat people up in the streets you know <laughs> <laughs> because that's how i felt when i was listening to a lot of music that inspired me you know so, so eventually, that's that, that's the kind of energy that we want to want to mediate. Once everything gets back to normal, do you think it, we're going to have a lot more festivals and concerts, or you, you, is it going to be a little bit different for the fans and stuff to come out? Oh, impossible to say. Um, but maybe I mean, this past year has showed the entire business that everything doesn't have to be about like relentless touring. I mean. And, and perhaps it could be more about like quality of touring rather than just like than, than play thoughtlessly, just you know. But I, I have no idea what things are going to be like. I think it's going to be very hard for bands to get out when all the bands want to get out at the same time. 
Um, so we're probably going to have like a serious overrepresentation of 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 tours and shows for a for a while. And oh, sure, yeah, it's going to be like yeah. a a flood of, of tours and stuff going on. And yeah, yeah. but hey, you know, it, it's one step at a time to get back to some normalcy for sure. Yeah, yeah. Folks, you want to get out and pick up Enforcer's new live album entitled Live by Fire 2, which is going to be released March 19th via Nuclear Blast Records. You want to get out and pick that up. So, Olaf, my friend, how can folks stay in touch with you guys, buy some merchandise, tour dates, all this good stuff when everything gets back to normal? How can they do that, sir? Well, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook or whatever social media you're using. It gets, like in touch with us directly through there. So um, that's one thing where you can like keep in touch with us. Probably the best way also. And sir, before I let you go, would you care to do a promo for my show? Absolutely. No worries. This is Olaf Wickstrand from the heavy metal band Enforcer from Sweden. You're listening to Bob's Mayhem Hour. Everybody stick around. we got some great, great stuff coming up, and you only hear these interviews right here on Bod's Mayhem Hour and Bod's Mayhem Hour podcast. Please get on and check out our Facebook page. It has our podcast link, YouTube link, everything that's out there for us, and please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a lot of great stuff coming up. And pick up Enforcer's new live album, Live by Fire 2, which is going to be released March 19th via Nuclear Blast Records. So, Olaf, thank you, my man, and uh, I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.